Our next guest is a very, very funny comedian and a good friend of ours. This man is currently appearing at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas. Listen to this. Currently appearing at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas through, we're in June now, halfway through June. Yeah. Currently appearing in Las Vegas through October 31st. There's an engagement. Pretty good gig, huh? Not only that, he's been there for about six months. Is that right? Already, yeah. All right. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, David Brenner. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I, uh, I was at the hotel, this is weird, right before I came over and I was listening to the news and a commercial came on and I wasn't really paying attention to it until I, what caught my ear were the side effects. So I wrote it down on my hotel, this true, on my hotel key. I wrote that here, here, I, th I don't know what the product, it sounded something like Zoloft. That's a kind of pill, Zoloft or something. But here are the, here are the side effects. Dry mouth, insomnia, diarrhea, <laughs> and sexual problems. <laughs> now, of course you're going to have sexual problems if you have a dry mouth and diarrhea. <laughs> so, so I thought, well, what is, what is this cure? I mean, what's worth all this? <laughs> and you know what it's for? Depression. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, what's more depressing? You're laying in bed, you can't sleep. Your mouth is dry. You just soiled your pajamas. And you can't get laid. And then there was some weird, the weird stuff on the news. Over in England, they are cloning pigs. And you know, when you clone an animal, you learn a lot of things about the animal you wouldn't have known other than through cloning because of the genetic code. So they found out some things and they had a list of them. And one of them is a pig has an orgasm that lasts for 30 minutes. <laughs> when I heard that, I thought, how does a female pig fake it for 30 minutes? Then in Oregon, the state legislature has ratified a bill that in the state of Oregon from now on, it is a crime to have sex with a farm animal. <laughs> now what's frightening is they had to pass a law. It just makes you wonder, how ugly are the women in Oregon? <laughs> then there are, there are 70 women who are touring the United States uh, uh, giving talks on the problems that women face in our society. And they are charging the public $25 up to $1,000 a person to hear the talks, which they have entitled the Vagina Monologues. <laughs> now. I would pay, I'd pay $1,000 to hear one of them talk. <laughs> you know, even whistle, okay? Even whistle. <laughs> then, then the other thing that, 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 that's going on now in, in the news is that, and, and this is really bizarre, a woman is suing, she has a corporate, you know, suit, one of those civil suits, against a fast food place because she went in to get lunch and she got her sandwich. On the plate next to her sandwich was a hot pickle. She put the hot pickle in her mouth. The hot pickle, did you read about this, slipped out of her mouth and burnt her lower lip and her chin. <laughs> She's suing for millions of dollars on the grounds that because of the burnt lip, and the burnt chin, she and her husband can't have sex. <laughs> Come on, he married a woman who can't keep a pickle in her mouth. <laughs> now, <th> <laughs> I 
rest my case. <laughs> now this, I got off the internet, I didn't believe it, I checked it, it is a true story. It's weird. In Russia, doctors have replaced a, a severed, a, a, an amputated penis with one of the man's fingers. <laughs> you can bet his manicures quit. <laughs> and if he uses Viagra, it's one thumbs up. <laughs> but the worst, the worst would be if he's your uncle. Can you imagine? Hey, come on, kids, pull my finger. You know. <laughs> well. When I heard about this, I, I, it really gave me a flashback to my childhood. When I was a little boy, my father told me a joke. I don't know if he wrote this joke, he's a very funny man, or if he heard it, but this is one of my favorite visual jokes to this day. I was like seven years old. So I don't do jokes, especially for an audience. I'm going to do a joke for you. This is a real joke. No, it has a beginning, middle, and end. Like a joke thing. Okay, a joke. Okay. A, a man is a machinist. He's working in a factory, and the machine cuts off his hand. And he runs out and he runs to the doctor. He says, doctor, I, I, I got my hand cut off. Can you help me? Doctor says, oh, no problem. We can do that today. He said, well, what's it going to cost me? He said, oh, about $150,000. So what are you, crazy? He runs out. He's running down the street. He sees Giuseppe, the shoemaker. He goes over. He says, Giuseppe, look, I cut off my hand. Can you help me? He says, oh, no, no problem. He says, come on in. Comes in and he sews it. And Giuseppe sews it back on. He goes, Giuseppe, this is great. He said, how much do I owe you? He said, nah, give me $2. So he gives him $2, now he's going back to work at the factory. He's walking down the street, he sees the doctor coming along. He says, yo, doc, you remember me? I cut off my hand, you want to sew it back on? You want to charge me $150,000? Giuseppe, the shoemaker, did it. He charged me two bucks, so 